So I did this with Patrick Mahomes. So I thought it's only right to do this with Lamar Jackson. We are back in the 2007 season. Shout out to the Mad Mon community for posting this 2007 roster and roster mods. But today we're putting Lamar Jackson on the 2007 New England Patriots. This is a Patriots squad that almost went undefeated as they lost to the New York Giants in the Super Bowl, but did finish off the year 17-0, which again proceeded to them losing the Super Bowl. Right, 17? 16-0. So there's 17 games now. Back in the day, there was 16. 16-0 in the regular season, and then obviously Divisional 17, Championship 18, and 18 and 0 going into the Super Bowl, which they finished the year 18 and 1 because they lost to the Giants. So this squad is really freaking good. And there's a reason why this squad and this team was as successful as they were. But again, now it's number eight's job to go win a Super Bowl. Because Patrick Mahomes took over this Patriots squad. I'm not gonna tell you the outcome of that, but wasn't that fantastic. It was good. Wasn't as good as we expected it to be. So, New York Jets week one. Team that the Patriots for so long owned. Let's see how they can do. I'm trying not to sneeze right now. Alright, first... Oh, interesting. Only three points scored in the first quarter. I expected a lot more points in the first game, especially against the Jets. Now, the Jets, this is 2007 Jets. Keep this in mind. It's not the Jets nowadays. That's another thing here is the Jets nowadays, defensively, pretty damn good, right? Offensively, with Aaron Rodgers, pretty okay. But this is the Chad Pennington Jets, which I really expected Lamar to put up more points than he did. Was not expecting 28. I mean, 28 is good, but I'm saying like in the first half. But again, you know, maybe he's starting off slow. Brand new team. Brand new everything. Just a little update though. Uh, if you guys have not seen my 2000 mod series, 2007 mod series so far. Here is what 2007 teams looks like. So, we got the Chicago Bears who, very good. Cincinnati Bengals, led by Carson Palmer. We got the Buffalo Bills here, led by J.P. Lossman. Okay. And we got Jay Cutler, smoking Jay Cutler for the Broncos. Derek Anderson leading the charge in Cleveland. Um, over here, we had uh, this David Garrard. Believe? No, Jeff Garcia. Wow. Jeff Garcia played for, what, the Bucks, the 49ers, and he played for the Browns, obviously. But after he left, I think I think he was on the 49ers, and then he went to the Browns, I believe. Or it might have been the other way around. Although, he was really good with the 49ers. He just wasn't really good with the Cleveland Brownies, which, to be honest, <laughs> that time, no quarterback was really good with the Cleveland Brownies because they figured out a way to destroy quarterbacks' careers. Usually the opposite of what you want. 49ers was led by P. Willie. They also had Vernon Davis. They had Colin Kaepernick. Not Colin Kaepernick. They had Alex Smith. Yeah, well, a little bit a little bit of time before Colin Kaepernick enters the league. That's more in the 2012-2011 time period. Where Alex Smith was still the quarterback, but the team decided to move on and go toward Kaepernick and Listen, NFC Championship game, lost in the Super Bowl to the Ravens. They did something. <laughs> and then he proceeded to lose his job a couple years later. Anyway, Ray Lewis led with Chris McAllister with um, Haloti, Haloti Nada. Right? Yeah, my, my brain's all over the place today. I'm completely... I just saw like Haloti Nada and I'm like, yeah. Lloyd and on that squad, right? Big Ben Roethlisberger leading the Pittsburgh Steelers. This was a different era altogether. I wish, uh, with the 2007 mod, I wish there was, like, a way to, like, have the old rules and how the old rules were set up where you could hit players and it wasn't as much of a 
problem as it is today. Obviously, rightfully so, you know, you have concussions and stuff like that. But back in the old days, man, whew, 2007, even 2007, I feel like 2000 and before that, you could literally launch and destroy players. But after even 2007, there was still a period where you could actually hit people. And then it kind of went down the hill and, you know, fizzled out as time went on. But nowadays, you can't touch players. But <laughs> back in the day with Brian Dawkins and all those guys, they, I mean, they would launch. Brian Dawkins would launch like an eagle at somebody to tackle them and, and sack them. It was insane. 336 yards and two touchdowns for Lamar. Um, our running back got hurt, but 36 of 44. Holy crap. Apparently, uh, Bill Belichick is making Lamar Jackson a passing quarterback because that is absolutely insane numbers to be throwing the ball that much in a game. Especially when you have Lamar Jackson. I mean, listen, this is 2007. 2007, there wasn't really mobile quarterbacks. You had Michael Vick in 2004, who was dominant. And in this franchise, he doesn't go to jail. He actually isn't in jail right now. But still, though, you have 2004 Michael Vick. Other than that, you didn't really have a crazy great rusher of the football at the quarterback position. So you would think Bill Belichick, if he has Lamar Jackson here, the first thing he's going to do is take off running with him or, or tell him, like, hey, listen, we're going to maneuver our playbook to be more run quarterback happy. But simply is not the case. And what is the case is the fact that we are dominating. Wow. Okay, so undefeated still. But the 3-3 three and three Dolphins, the team that always gives the Patriots problems. Always, in real life at least, over the years. It's always playing in Miami where the Patriots always would fall apart. But they did not fall apart here. Lamar Jackson's actually clutch here. Clutching it up and still clutching it up. Who got hurt? Kevin Falk, okay. That's not too big of a deal because we have a running back at quarterback, right? Maybe? We lost. We suck. We're the worst team ever. Cut everyone. Cut Lamar Jackson. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Eight and one. Okay, so for some reason, the amount of times I do these videos with this 2007 Patriots roster, they can never go undefeated. Like, I just want one video where this team goes 17-0. And there's only been one video I think I've ever recorded for a franchise series where a team has gone 17-0. And that was for, I forget which video. It was a Ravens video, I know. I think it was the 2000 Ravens. They went undefeated. They went 17-0. And they lost in the Super Bowl. So, that was the only time that has ever happened for me. And they lost in the Super Bowl, so they didn't even go 18-0. Not 18-0. It would be 18-19, 20-0. But 3-11 Dolphins, and they're getting the butt kicked right now by the league. And the Giants, Week 17. By the way, this is also the correct schedule for the league. So, for example, there is no Week 18 game, because this is 2007. Um, also... A little side note here. So, there is no... This is the correct schedule, though, for the Patriots in 2007 as well. Everyone has their correct schedule for 2007. So, it's kind of, you know, really cool how everything is set up here. I definitely will say the Madden Mod community does a great job of creating these mods. 3,800 yards, though, for Lamar. 33 touchdowns, one interception. Apparently, Bill Belichick turned this guy into a complete passer of the football. Because he only had 216 rushing yards and four touchdowns. So, really, just a pure passer. Wow. Not really much in the run game at all when it comes to Lamar Jackson, that is. But, hey, listen. It is what it is, and he set them to a 14-2 and record, so that's not bad at all. Definitely not MVP-wise, though. And he's, you know... With the rushing yards, you could make the argument he could be MVP. But without the rushing yards, he's fourth in MVP race. He's not getting it. Second ranked offense. What was our defense? Third ranked defense. That 2007 Patriots squad, man. They are dominant. 
They are dominant in so many different ways. All right. Nine and seven Steelers. Some the team that the, the Patriots have dominated so much over the 2000 to 2024 is the Patriots have always dominated the Steelers. And now they play the Jags. 11 and 5 Jags in the conference championship. They win that game to go to the Super Bowl versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Which I believe they beat the Eagles, the Patriots did in 2004, I want to say. I, I, I want to say 2004, maybe 2003. They beat the Patriots. I mean, they beat the Eagles. Because I know they beat the Rams in 2001. So, let's see. How is this going to go? Lamar Jackson, you going to get a ring finally? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Eagles have no chance. This is Donovan McNabb-led Eagles, though. And McNabb, this is before he left uh, the Eagles and went to the Skins. And I said they didn't have a chance. And somehow, some way, this game's going to overtime. And the Patriots lost to the Eagles. I trashed them. I said they didn't have a chance. And it wasn't really the quarterback who did the job. It was the running back, Brian Westbrook. He was good. But 343 yards and three touchdowns for Lamar Jackson. And their offense sputtered out. That's pretty much all I can say. Their offense sputtered out. And it looked like it was going to be a complete blowout by the Patriots. And then they just kind of collapsed. This is kind of exactly what happened to the Falcons in that one Super Bowl. Where they had like all the control and then they just collapsed in the end. Yeah, so what was it? It was 21 to 10 at halftime. And in the second half, all the Patriots did was score three points. And they could not score again after scoring three points in the second half. Everything else just fell apart. Tell me down below your thoughts, opinions, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.